if you purchase the show from jollyholidayshows.com or any of the other websites where they create shows for you and if you already have your projector then the next step is to, to draw a map of your house or a tracing or an outline of your house uh, that you can send to me that we can map the show to so this is kind of the basics of how that would work I've got my projector out here along with my, my laptop and a mouse. The mouse is going to make it a lot easier than if you have a touchpad. And I've got an HDMI cable that will hook up to the projector. And then I'll show you how to draw the map of your house. Okay, once we have the projector all lined up where we want it, and we plug it into our, our laptop, then you can type in display in the search and to look for this duplicate or extend connected display. Be a little different on a, a Mac, but you'll pull up your display settings on your Mac and it will look like this. I might go through these steps in zoom where you can see it better, but I'll show it here first. And the key thing you want to do is on this multiple displays option, have that as duplicate these displays. And It'll most likely be 1920 by 1080. Once that's done, then we can open up our, our mapping software and start. And then we'll open up the software and we'll have the screen here. And I'll show it along with what it looks like on the house here in a moment. But what you do is you just put the crosshairs where you want to start a line and hold the left mouse button down and drag it along the line. And you'll just do that to trace out the entire house. Uh, when you make a mistake, because you probably will, <laughs> then you can hold, you can do Control Z, and it will undo. Once the map is completed, then you can right-click and save it as an image. And this is also where you can quit the program. Yeah, so this is what it's going to look like to, to do it. You'll put the cursor on a corner that you want to start drawing a line. Hold down the left mouse button. And that one's off, so I'm going to do Control Z. It's difficult to get the precision on this sometimes. That is not where I expected it to be. It looks like there's a slight difference between where the crosshairs are and my mouse cursor. That's annoying. It's probably in my mouse settings. So I'll put the crosshairs right there where I want it. Hold down the mouse button. Get it to the corner, and there's my first line. I'm not going to do a super detailed one today, because I already have one. But I'll do enough that you can kind of see what it is we're doing. All right, so once you get the map done, you can right click and do save as, and then just give it a name and it's going to save it as an image. That's the image that you'll be able to send to someone if they're creating the show for you, or you can use that image if you're doing it yourself in your software of choice.